Right gang, today we are going to, ooh, bloody hell, installing the JTEC Tail Tidy for the Speed Triple 1200 RS. Let's get cracking. master right so this is going to be it's not necessarily a how-to but it's just going to be me installing the tail tidy because this thing look at the size of it it's huge we don't want that nice build quality but we've got t25 bits and we're going to go through and undo all of these bolts these are all corroding already look at that these out so I'm gonna be taking the indicators out so that is a five mil so we'll get everything loose for now we're very windy today I do apologize if there's wind coming through there but not much I can do one more to start to undo they aren't on too tight maybe five or ten newton meters and then there's some at the side here you'll need to crack them as well that is easy 225 again. Right, so there we go. Drop everything. I'm just gonna lift it with my knee. I'm going to so put it underneath my knee underneath the reg plate and push up. So it takes all the weight and stress off the bolts as I'm undoing them. Yeah they are corroded quite badly already then. Right, nearly there. Cool. Now that's just going to pop off. I'm going to rest that down here like this. Like that. So I'm going to give that a quick clean underneath as well. Once we're here, you may as well. And then, oh. Oh, stones. Stones have just fallen out. So stones have been trapped in there. We're just going to undo so I can split it in half. And then we're going to undo the indicators. Split it and then take the uh, reg plate off. And take the rest of these out now that I've loosened them so remember that is a cap head 5 mil. so there we go cool two of them out and I'm just gonna undo the reg plate screws same for this side cool now the reg is off T20 Get this one. I'm going to reuse the stock light as well and the stock indicators because they're actually really nice. They might look a bit out of place, but fuck it. Right, those have been loctated as well. And then this should all just be able to pull apart. Not sure how, but. Can't see anything else holding it together. Oh, there we go. Pop that up. Right. <laughs> just, just do that. Oh, there's another one. Right. Fuck me. At least you know it's secure. Christ. Right. There you go. It's all falling apart now. Like my life. Right, okay. There you go. There's everything. You have to unplug the indicators to take them off it looks like so there is that oh wow it's got a lot of shit on it this it's like grease and all sorts heater pull that out well, they've, they've greased them up i assume that's to keep the dirt out but by greasing them they've attracted the dirt so i assume we can just pull that through yes you can there's your indicator remember that's left i'm gonna put it on that side Use something to yam that down. There you go. These indicator ones aren't too difficult to be honest. They're all right. I'm gonna clean these up actually. And uh, we reuse them. Cool. And there's the loom. I'm gonna get a rag just clean all this up. Now I'm just gonna use 
I started using this corrosion block, which is the marine version of ACF 50, which is fucking awesome, by the way. And the pump. There we go. It's green rather than purple, which is cool. It's probably going to fling more shit up here now that this tail tide is on, but it should be easier to clean at least. Again, it's ACF, it's fine for wires. It's good stuff. I don't know why they've yammed it full of fucking grease though. Cool. Oh yeah, I forgot to take this out. Right. Fucking hell, that's a tiny torque, is that? It is a T15, but it's going to be a real arse to get in there. Oh yes. Oh, I can crack it with my fingers. Good. There we go. Sweet. Clean this up. I mean, that's actually really nice quality light, that. Everything on this bike is very high quality, to be honest. I'm very impressed. So those are two and a half mil. Let's put the light on. Right, so, take the seats off. There we go. Right, so what we do is we use two of these. So one goes in there to fit the indicators back on. We use one of the screws and then a nylon washer. Thread on, 10 mils. So it's a four mil Allen key. Same for the other side, through. Line it up, come on, we've got, there we go. I will ACF cut these afterwards though. And then we're just gonna nip them up. Just hand tight, which it is. Right, wishes look. Right, see, look, I can work on my bike at night. How fucking cool is this? It's now uh, nine o'clock at night. I've got my two automatic lights that have come on, which I can also take off. Look at that, I can use them as little torches. Uh, I left off before, you know, we're taking the seat off, we're taking all this stuff off. Now, I have since got in touch with the people that make this, JTEC and they have provided me with visual instructions which are very very handy what we need to do is we need to get these cables up and out of the chassis here which is basically got a rubber grommet which you probably won't be able to see because it's dark there we go uh, rubber grommet under here we need to be able to take this off in order to pull that out take all the wires up um, because we'll end up with loads of wires fed up underneath and we know where to put them basically. So what we have to do is we have to take this off, which turns out it's uh, it's actually not that difficult. Apparently you just pull it off. So we'll have a go at that, but we also need to unwire it from somewhere. Uh, which one is he? I think it's this guy. I could get my fucking fingers in there. There we go. God, I have no nails. I have zero nails. There we go. Right. I've just got a torx in there and press that down. Right, so, so let me see if we can get underneath it. There we go, right. It just pops down. There we go, right. So now you can see, we have this grommet under here, which is stopping the wires from being able to get through. So the idea now is to be able to take out that grommet and each cable one at a time. I'm gonna give this a clean as well underneath here whilst I'm what's them about. Cool. Right. Basically push this grommet through from, from the inside. Oh god, it's one of them fuckers, is it? Jesus. Right, and pull it out. You've just got to slide the wires through one by one and it is a fucking tight squeeze. Oh, come on, you pile of shit. Come on, fuck nuts. There we go, right. Now that I've got one through, it should be okay to get, easy enough to get the others through. Touch wood. Oh, fucking Jesus, what a fucking faff that was. Now that the grommet's out of all them, now I have to do the same thing for this. So I'm basically gonna feed all these through. Okay, so you just have to slacken them up enough to be able to just push them through. One by one again, it's a little bit of a squeeze. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Come on, here we go, right. <laughs> Right, so now we've got our wire harness. We can then pull it through, pull this wire in loom, 
this one here, which is the indicators, pull it through. So what we're going to do eventually, we're going to be pulling these guys up. I'm going to try and push them up as much as I can into the bike. And then pull that up. Well, there you go. And then push from underneath. And there you go. There's no rush here. You don't want to rush this. Cool. Right, so that is your wiring harness. The red tape here indicates this is the right hand indicator. So it goes like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer up the reg plate, feed them through there, connect them all up onto this, fold these all up, nice, make it nice and tidy, and then fit it in. Get the tail tidy, make sure everything's oriented right. This is where I'm going to put Mr. Gromit, which I'm actually going to use a bit of ACF50 to lube up. Kind of, right. Yeah, we're just going to push the cables through the grommets like we did just in reverse and that ACF really helps loop things up a little bit so it's this guy and then we can get the grommet back into place by just pressing it in that ACF really helps it there we go, see him properly. Now look at that. Cool. So, so yeah, idea. Now offer this all back up again. So find where the grommets sit, feed these wires up into the bike, and then tie it down. <laughs> so there's a bit of a handful, so I'm gonna put this light down. Feed all them wires through. You just give it a bit of a move. It will just wiggle into place. There we go, and then pop that bottom rivet back into place, and that's literally, it just popped itself back in with no bother there. Here we are, all the wires are right where we need them, which are here, so we can plug them into there. I'm going to put some thread lock on these, get one started for now. So that is pinch tight. That's pinch tight. So I still see the cables poking up over here. So now remember, right, red tape is right. To there, and then that one to there, right. And then that, I'll just plug back into there. But I want to make sure that this works before I go tightening things down. So I'll plug that in. I've got my key. I don't know why I didn't just do that for light in the first place, to be honest. A little reflector. Right, so that's working. As you can see, that light is working. Now let's do left. Nice, first time, got it. Right. Has it. Cool, right, we can wire that up now. Right, so I've just basically rerouted it underneath. That is a massive pain and it could do with an extender, really. And push this back into place. Like that, there we go. Right, so, cable tie time. Fold this up. I really do enjoy this, especially at night. Just being able to work on my bike, you know, without the wind and the rain and the rushing about to get it done. It's a regret. <laughs> Right, so now I've got a zip tie around that. I can literally just, just tuck it in there, actually, I think. Don't cut cables, John. There we go. Oh, God, I'm standing and everything. Next, I'm just going to put the rest of these bolts on. Okay, so just hand tight. I just don't want to put too much torque on this kind of stuff. Cool, right, that's fucking solid. Oof, it's looking good already, look at that. Not bad at all, okay. Right, next. 
I'm just going to put all this back together now. I'm going to have a fully arranged motorbike. Might come back in the morning actually and do a proper video on it. Cheers, folks. Right then, there we go. Check that out. That looks miles better for me. And it's on there, properly on there. Not too bad underneath either. Neat. Hello folks, you okay? Uh, just a little addition at the end of the video, I know it's going to be a long one. But yeah, everything's sorted now, bike's back in, um, and I just wanted to say that a big thank you to JTEC. Um, I did buy this with my own money, I'm not you know, promoting them in any way like that, but just a thank you to Joe if you're watching, hello mate. Basically yesterday was Sunday, um, and he was up emailing me, sending me sending me pictures and proper instructions basically on a Sunday, which I really do appreciate, and I managed to basically just go in and finish it off. Uh, last night. Anyway, just a final sort of synopsis. Really good tail tidy. Quality is fantastic. Installation was fine once you know what you're doing, so hopefully this will help with that. And just a little note is that Joe has basically said that they're going to supply an extender for the uh, for the reg plate light. So they're going to add like a little extender in the kit for you all, just because I've told him that it was a massive pain in the ass essentially just to be able to get uh, the plug in because it's very, very pinchy. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very, very soon with the show. Please make sure you like and subscribe and all that stupid admin bollocks if you want to. No pressure. And yeah, again, I'll see you very, very soon, I'm sure. And until the next one, sort them out, folks. See you later.